We said earlier that case classes are immutable, so you cannot assign to the members of a case class. Which raises the question, well, what if you want to change something? So you have a case class, and I want to change a single field. Well, because it's immutable, you can't change anything in it. What you can do, though, is make a new one that has that one field changed. And, of course, you could do this just by making a new one, but because this is something that happens fairly commonly, all case classes wind up coming with a copy method. So let's look at our case classes here. We have our point and our student. And we can load in, open up a REPL, and load that file. So if we make a point, val p equals a point 3d of 1, 2, 3, now, one way of making a new point that is somewhat different would be to say point 3D, let's say I wanted to add 1 to the X. I could do 1 plus P dot X comma P dot Y comma P dot Z. And that would work. Oop, P dot Z. That would work. That would give us a modified case class instance where we have, we've added one there. Using the copy method, the idea is I call copy. And when I use the copy method, I pass things with named arguments. So I only have to specify the arguments that I want to change. In this case, I want to change the x so that it is p dot x plus 1. If I don't specify the y and z, they get default values equal to what they had been before. This is the reason for for covering the named and default values before doing the copy method, is it makes use of both of these. So technically copy for the R point has three uh, arguments for it, one for X, one for Y, one for Z, but they all have default values of what they were before, and you can call them and only give the named arguments for the ones that you want to actually change. The others will take on their old value. This is probably even more useful for the student where, for example, we might start off with a student that has no grades at all, and then I would want to be able to make copies of that student where I've added a grade. So I want to keep the same name and various grades, but maybe tests is equal to the test that we had. And since this is a list, 99 cons the test that we had. And now I have a student that has a single test grade of a 99. If they were to take an assignment, well, this modified one that has the test is res3. Of course, s hasn't changed because it is immutable. I could have made it a var and set s equal to s.copy to, to make a new value. But I could take res3 and make a copy where I have an assignment in here like that. And now I have a student that has one test and one assignment. So the copy method is very helpful as it gives us a way to create modified versions of immutable case classes. And it's probably the preferred way of kind of altering a case class when the case class is immutable as they all are by default.